does Sweetie Pie give up her life saving Sarah? Does Tinky have her baby in Sarah's car? In the hospital? Or running after a suspect? Hey everybody, welcome to the D. Louise Book Series channel. I'm Christina, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. It's just me reading books. I have no special effects. There's nothing special going on here. It's just me talking books. And today we're doing Independent Bones by Carolyn Haynes. And um, so this lady, or professor, Alaka Diakos, is a woman's activist uh, college professor. She likes to give speeches on women's rights and women's empowerment and all that kind of stuff. And the men in town are not happy with it. In fact, they formed this Casanova um, League. I know I wrote it down. American Values Association. And it's a men's only organization, and they're the men that want to keep women in the house doing housekeeping and nothing else. They That's their thing. And a lot of these men are abusers of their wives, too. So this Alec Adizigos is doing all these talks and speeches about women's rights and women's suffrage and all this kind of stuff. And um, one of the residents of town, Curtis Miller, speaks up against her severely. And there ends up to be a scruffle. And Roscoe is just like, yes, go, boy. And um, for those of you who don't know, Roscoe is Harold's dog. He's an activist of all rights. And um, so, Ms. Delaca is, uh, Diego, however you say her name, is the prime suspect in his murder. And then it turns out that there was a professor at her university that was also murdered, and that's why she's on leave. And then there was some guy in another town or whatever who was also murdered the same way. They were all shot. So, Alika... Alec, uh, Al Alla hires Sarah Booth and Tinky to investigate her murder. I'm mean, not a murder. That, you know, help to prove that she's innocent of the murders. And um, you really don't, they do, they investigate. Sarah Booth takes so many risks. This woman, I'm with Coleman on some of this. Um, you know, going into that, she went to this bar, and it was quite dangerous, and she did it anyway, and um, it's just, it's very vague. People take pot shots at her, someone's trying to kill her, and this is worse than the other one, um, because this one actually gets a shot off, and she shoots Sweetie Pie, because Sweetie Pie sees it coming, and rescues Sarah Booth and takes the bullet for Sarah Booth. So you will have to read the book to find out what happens there. And um, it's such, it's like a really straightforward and it's a really good smooth. I was done with this book in like a little over two hours because it was just, it drew me in and it just kept my attention and it kept going. And then all of a sudden, all these suspects appeared. And it went this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. There were all these suspects, and they were doing all this stuff. And then they had the association to do it, because Howard went missing, and they had to go rescue Harold. And, and it was all this stuff going on. All of this stuff. And Tinky goes into labor, running after a suspect. <laughs> You'll have to read the book. I don't want to give too much away. But you, the the who done it? It's brilliant because like the the person who did it, who really did it, well had a couple of cohorts too. Um, you will not see it coming because the the who done it. There's two who done it, sort of connected who done it, and the one who done it is a character that goes, "Hi, what do you need? Oh, okay, yeah, that's good." And leaves the scene. She's like in spots. The the cat the murderer is in spots here and there. Then this little insequential thing that supposedly happened twenty something years ago. Well, not twenty years ago, but 
10, maybe more. To one of Sarah's old, uh, cl maybe classmates, I forget, um, comes into huge play. I mean, it's mentioned once or twice, and they try to investigate it, but it, the family had hushed it up. So there's not many details. And that comes huge. It's a huge, huge, huge motive. And you don't see it coming. And um, Carolyn, she really pulls out some twisties at the end. She's twist, 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 twist. So it's going to be interesting to see how Tinky goes with her new baby. I will not give you gender if you do not want to know gender. And um, I'm still waiting for Coleman to put a ring on it. Because I think it's a good, you know, maybe they should do a few cases together. Why Tinky's laid up. Maybe they Coleman and Sarah Booth should work together. Maybe, maybe this, if Sarah Booth has a PI license, yeah, I guess she does since they have the agency. Well, then they can work together. Let's see what happens in the next book. Please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And uh, my co-host is sleeping on the job here. Come here. Say hi. Hi.